In today's video, I am going to be testing malware against smartphones. Just to summarize this video up, I have a Samsung Galaxy that I'm going to be testing against five ransomware. I'm sure you already know what it is, but I'm going to quickly explain it for you guys. A ransomware is a form of malware that essentially encrypts all of your files on your device and demands payment. That's a simple explanation. And without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. I was supposed to run the double locker ransomware first, but I accidentally imported the coronavirus tracker ransomware first. What? Coronavirus tracker? tracker app installed covid lock ransomware i guess the first virus we're doing is the covid lock ransomware so i started it anyway it asked me for permission to stop optimizing battery usage stop optimizing battery usage coronavirus tracker will be able to run in the background its battery usage won't be restricted whatever that means but i gave it the permission to stop optimizing battery usage then it opened up the fake covid19 tracker app that will destroy this phone after giving it a couple more permissions activate lock screen to get instant alert when a coronavirus patient is near you. So I gave it the permissions it wanted, and now it was time to press this giant button that said, scan area for coronavirus. Scan area. After I pressed that button, the ransomware completely encrypted this Samsung phone. Congratulations, I hacked your phone. You have 24 hours to pay or I will send everybody in your contact list every picture you took and every video you filmed since the day you bought this phone. Everything in your phone is now under my control. You can turn it off, disconnect your internet or smash it to the ground. Your contacts, your pictures and videos are all uploaded to my server and locked with a 256 bit encryption technology meaning I can destroy you. Your financial, social, and future being depends on what you do now. So think hard about what you're going to do next. Here's the deal. You pay me $250, I give you a special 24 number key. You unlock your phone and delete my spy tool and we will both be happy or you don't pay, then I bombard your family, friends, and coworkers with your pics and videos, then you'll have to deal with the consequences. It's your choice. After I read the entire description of what just happened to my phone and how I can get my files back before my private photos and videos are sent to all of my contacts, the internet browser randomly opened. I mean, thank goodness I'm disconnected from my internet because the Google Dinosaur game was available to play. And you know damn right I was going to play it. We have that. Oh wow, we can play this? No way. I didn't even know we could play this on mobile, bro. I thought we only could play this on desktop. Oh, bro, I'm about to sit here for forever. I know my phone just got a ransomware. I could still use the internet somehow, but this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, crap. I tried to decrypt the entire phone from the ransomware by typing in random numbers, hoping I could find the key, but unfortunately, that key was incorrect. Bro, this is really bad. So this is what my actual phone looks like right now. I went onto the phone's home screen, and anytime I tried to open any app, the ransomware would ultimately overthrow the screen. What if I open up messages? I open up messages, that happened. Go to the home screen. I guess I could use the home screen. That's pretty good. Oh, never mind. When I mean any app, I mean every app or even just swiping the phone to the left on my home screen would cause this message to appear. Oh bro, this is a whole nightmare. <laughs> if I open up the camera. Fortunately, I can still use the camera app on the phone. Looking good. But maybe it's not the best idea to take any pictures or record any videos because the hacker will use all those photos and videos to send to the contacts on this phone. Everything looking good. Then I noticed that my internet being disconnected actually stopped the ransomware from trying to gain access to my location. I tried to follow the further instructions by clicking this link but the internet being disconnected meant the page wouldn't load and the Google dinosaur game came up again. I don't have any instructions right now. I just have the super fun dinosaur game. It's okay. I don't mind about the ransomware. I even tried to uninstall the app, but that didn't even work. Oh, okay. I have to do it fast. Okay, so... How do you delete the app? Opening up my settings causes the ransomware to go into a frenzy and aggressively tries to stay on top of all the other apps. Oh, this is bad. I have to actually reset the phone and start from scratch again so I can install the next ransomware on it for you guys. <laughs> for this video. I lost all hope for this phone from this ransomware, so I decided to reset the phone and move on to the next virus. The next virus that we're going to test on the Android is the double locker ransomware. So I was trying to activate the virus and I was having a little bit of trouble trying to activate the virus. Adobe Flash Player? It just kept glitching my phone. What is happening to my phone? 
<laughs> Bro, what the hell is happening? I switched this setting off and then this thing popped up. Adobe Flash Player. Erase all data. Change the screen lock. Set the password rules. Monitor screen unlock attempt. Lock the screen. Basically, I clicked activate after it told me all that weird stuff and my phone started glitching its absolute life out. I restarted the phone. I'm gonna reset the phone. Hopefully, this is gonna work. Turn the phone on and then it told me that my Android phone was infected with a ransomware. Current state information, your personal documents and files on this device have just been encrypted. The original files have been deleted and only will be recovered by following the steps described below. Data will be lost after 23 hours. Number of encrypted files for? It costs 0 0.0130 BTC, which is this much US dollar. Your personal files are encrypted. To decrypt your files, you need to obtain a private key. This means the encrypted files are no longer of use until they get decrypted using a private key stored on a server my phone it's it's been absolutely bamboozled what the hell there's a section called where to obtain bitcoin where to get bitcoin you can get bitcoin in several ways and i know how to obtain bitcoin but i took a look at it anyways below is a list of sites where you can buy bitcoin to unlock and decrypt files on your device i tried many things to get myself out of this encrypted nightmare like restarting my phone and going into my settings okay i'm gonna restart the phone restart phone's turning on got the lock screen oh my god how do i go back to my home screen i can't i'm pressing all of these buttons on the bottom right now they're not doing anything i'm locked in this screen i am pressing the whole button this button that button over here that's not working nothing's working right now this is what a serious ransomware looks like on an android device check my payment there's no qr code scan the qr code to get bitcoin address easily it doesn't actually show you a qr code so your phone will get encrypted and all the files will get encrypted and it'll tell you hey scan the qr code to unlock these files but there's no qr code your phone is going to be locked for good this is what I see right now. What the hell? Basically, my only option at this point is to click on settings, but every single time I clicked on search in my settings, it would re-invite the double locker ransomware. What? I can't even press search? That's gonna piss me off. Hit reset. What? I can't even reset the phone. What about if I go into accessibility? What the f Every single time I go into my settings and click on accessibility, it would reopen up the ransomware. What kind of nightmare is this? So the next app I opened was called tiktok.apk, which already seems suspicious because I'm not downloading it from the Play Store. But I went ahead and I installed the TikTok app onto the phone. I want to install the TikTok app on my phone. Let's see what would happen if I tried to install tiktok.apk on my phone. Do you want to install this application? Install. App installed. Oh, look at that. We have TikTok. Click it. And immediately was given a red flag when I saw the permissions it wanted. It wants to access my storage, access my contacts, access my SMS, my location, and my camera. Sure. Right after I click continue, immediately a red box popped up telling me that I was hacked. You hacked? Your device was hacked. What? There was nothing I could really do. I could press the buttons on the bottom of the screen. It would open up whatever I press, but I can't even press whatever is behind this red square. What? Anytime I tried to press behind the red square, it wouldn't work. <laughs> I could only type into this part over here. Unlock. Okay. Whatever I type in, I have to try to unlock the device with the secret passcode. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, I actually can't do anything. This passcode could be anything. It could be from one digit to 150 million digits. It could contain words. It could contain letters it could contain the numbers symbols it could be anything and i would have to get it exactly to unlock the phone this one here is called sarah now i know it said tiktok but it's actually called sarah it's a simple android ransomware attack regardless of that i tried multiple passwords anyway was not able to get rid of this ransomware hi unlock 
zero 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 unlock oh my god <laughs> i can't do anything i can't even press okay i'm trying to press okay underneath i can't do it it's literally above every single app what if i press big speed i can't do anything everything i tried to do it says your device was hacked now i actually have a problem how do i reset the phone when i swipe down and i go to the silent notifications i thought i found a little loophole saying tiktok is displaying over other apps tiktok is displaying over oh look at this if you don't want tiktok to do this feature simply tap open settings and turn it off so i did just that I went onto my settings and look at this. Oh, I'm a genius. TikTok displaying over other off. However, when I went back to my home screen, the ransomware was still there and it was still over every single app. What? It's still displaying. I tried other key attempts, wasn't successful, and I started to lose hope. That's so messed up, bro. However, I noticed that if I open up my settings on my phone, it wouldn't go over the settings. So I had a little bit of a chance here. I found the settings that contain all my app and I found that malicious TikTok app, TikTok talk oh my god uninstall do you want to uninstall the tiktok app i think i got it i think i got it i can uninstall the yes and i decided to remove it off the phone and boom the ransomware is gone the simple android ransomware attack sarah was gone off this android device that was easy that was a simple android ransomware so if you get your phone encrypted by a simple android ransomware you can actually exit that all right the next virus that we're going to install on my android phone is called wanna locker this could be inspired by wanna cry maybe I'm wrong. So when I opened up the folder called Wanna Locker, there was a bunch of files inside there that were all different file sizes and different names with different icons. What the hell? We have a lot of APK files here. A picture to a game, a microphone. Do I install all of them? Do I install the largest one? Let's install this one. Do you want to install this application? I don't know what that's called. Can somebody tell me what that's called? Translate it for me if you don't mind, but we'll hit install. After installing the one that looks like a game, I decided to install all of them. Let's install all of them. While installing Installing all of them, I realized that some of them said app not installed. I was wondering what was going on. So I went back to my home screen and I noticed that it only installed the microphone one and everything else was deleted. So out of all of them, only that one stayed. That's weird. I guess I can only install one of them at a time because if I install another one, the previous one will be deleted. So I went with the one that has an icon of a microphone. I'm going to use the one with the most megabytes, 11.6 megabytes. So I don't know what this app is called and somebody can convert that for me or translate that for me. And it was asking me for permission to make and manage phone calls and access every single file that was on this phone. What? Make and manage phone calls? Access photos, media, and files on your device. I went ahead and I click continue. Continue. Immediately after clicking continue, a very familiar application decided to open. Oh my god, it is based off WannaCry. How the hell? I don't even know how to read this. Even the home screen looks like the original WannaCry. Oops, your important files are encrypted. Oh my god, we got WannaCry? For Android. If you see this text but don't see the wanted decryptor window, then your antivirus removed the decrypt software. Please do not quit this software or the files may never be recovered. What the hell? I went into my files to see what kind of damage the ransomware has done and all of the other APK files have been encrypted from this ransomware alongside every other file on this device. Hey, sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to quickly tell you that this video you're watching right now doesn't have any sponsorships. It's not sponsored by anybody and I edited the entire video myself. It was quite difficult to make. If you guys Enjoy what you're watching go ahead and just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel trust me i'm gonna be uploading bangers like this throughout the year but that's all i wanted to say sorry for interrupting but let's go ahead and get back into the video oh okay so all the files download oh my god all the files got encrypted there was no app that i had on my phone that could open up these files oh that's bad if this is your first time watching one of my virus videos and you don't understand what the heck is happening there is a computer virus for windows called WannaCry. i just found the android version of that it's called wanna locker i really couldn't read what the description was but i had a pretty good idea because i've seen the WannaCry virus before we actually have a timer here check payment it prompted me to please choose a payment method please choose a payment method wechat alipay or QQ. And after I clicked on WeChat, a QR code popped up with some guy's face in the middle. Oh my god, don't scan that QR code. I had a really hard time understanding what any of this said, so if anybody could read this, just translate it into the comment section below. That's called Lycoris Radiata or Lycoris Radiata. Oh wow, we can even do it in this. Oh my goodness. Something popped up on the screen and begged me to not leave the app, otherwise all of my files will be deleted. Why is it in Chinese though, or Japanese? Ugh. I'm kind of scared to connect to my internet right now because my phone is currently infected with a random 
ransomware. Maybe it's not a good idea. I can't believe I found an Android ransomware that's based off WannaCry. Oh my god. That's actually pretty hype. I mean, there's nothing I could really do with this Android ransomware. I guess my only option is to completely take this phone and reset it, pretend like it's just bought from the store, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next virus. So the next virus I'm opening is called Simple Locker. When I opened up the folder, again, there was multiple apps that I had to choose from, so I just choose the app called Video Player, and I hit install. We'll just press a random one over here. What? Video Player, do you want to install this application? Install. Right when I hit install, it was asking me for the following permissions. Choose what to allow Video Player to access. I gave it access to my storage. Access photos, media, and files on your device, which is pretty common. Didn't give it access to my phone. Make and manage phone calls. No thank you, because it can make emergency phone calls. I'm going to deny that at all costs. And I gave it access to take pictures and record video with my camera. But I will let it take pictures and record video. Why would a virus want to do that? And I went ahead and I clicked continue. After that, I basically made the app an administrator of the entire phone. If I press activate on the bottom right, I'm basically going to give this app administrative purposes onto this Android phone, which is a horrible idea. But let's just click activate. And right when I hit activate, I've seen one of the scariest things that I could possibly see in any ransomware. Your device has been seized. The FBI Federal Bureau Investigation. This ransomware was basically telling me that I was distributing or downloading illegal content. Your device has been seized as a result of one or multiple felonies below. You have been subjected to violation of copyrighted and related rights law, video, music, software, and illegally using or distributing copyrighted contents. What the hell? You have been viewing or distributing prohibited pornographic content, Article 202 of the Criminal Code. No, I haven't. While it was saying that, it was also capturing my face. Oh, it's using my camera. Your camera is used for gathering additional information to the investigation. I actually covered my camera because that freaked me out a little bit. All footage will be added to the criminal case. Bro, it's using my actual camera. Oh my god. And I pointed my camera away from me. Oh, that's so freaking creepy. But it told me that my camera is being used for gathering additional information for the investigation. All of the footage will be added to the criminal case. Bro, it's using my actual camera right now. Oh my goodness. Dog, that's so creepy. I went ahead and I clicked on detailed investigation. It gives a pretty detailed explanation in what's going on. You are suspected in attempting to download possession and or distribution of prohibited obscene content. Oh, this is so Oh my god. You have violated federal law which prohibits the production, distribution, reception, and possession of the image of child. Oh my, this is so messed up, bro. I basically scroll down to the exact bottom. This looks so legitimate. This would freak anybody out. It says it wants 0.73 BTC, which is not $200 worth of Bitcoin. I basically clicked money pack and I clicked a random voucher code of 1234. It said it was the invalid voucher code. So I went back to my home screen and I tried to uninstall the app because I was sick and tired of this one. This one was really creeping me out. I'm gonna uninstall video player. That's that was was easy with the hell oh it's still there uninstall but after i tried to uninstall the app the app was still there so i tried to uninstall it again uninstall that's when i realized the notification on the top of the phone and i swiped down and i saw that uninstalling video player was unsuccessful uninstalling video player unsuccessful i tried one more time not knowing what was going on and still uninstalling video player unsuccessful what do you mean how do i how do i delete the app that is one of the most messed up android malwares i've seen actually this entire video bro it was recording my face well ladies and gentlemen that's all for this video i actually really enjoyed making this video and if you enjoyed Enjoyed watching it go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already if you guys want to see another video from me go ahead and click the video that just appeared on the top right of the screen go ahead and click it i know you want to watch it but ladies and gentlemen that's all for the video love ya last thing if you want to see behind the scenes of this video go ahead and check it out bottom right of the screen check it out if you want to see how this video was made